Is it happening again? Well, if we're to believe the reports that are coming out in the last 20 or so minutes, well, it very may, it very well may be. Duncan Castles is reporting this evening that Nuno Espirito Santo was unsure if he will be the next Tottenham manager, while ESPN are reporting that he's not yet been offered the job and other candidates are still under consideration. This ridiculous uh, manager, Mario, go around, may be going around for just a little bit more. Uh, we talk about this story, what it may mean, the how true it might be coming from Duncan Castle as well. It might not be as unreliable as some people would think. But before we get into that, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I've said it too much over the last few days. Um, but Duncan Castles on the Transfer Podcast tonight has said that Nuno Espirito Santo is unsure if he will be the next Tottenham manager. Now, he did say uh, talks have been held and positive talks have been held in the last couple of days. Uh, he kind of confirmed the news that Espirito Santo was uh, offered to Tottenham earlier in our pursuit of the manager after he uh, announced his departure from Wolves. However, he was turned down then. But the key difference between now and then is that there's a different man in charge of our managerial hunt. Back then, it was it was Steve Hitchin and, and Daniel Levy and whatever ridiculous makeup they had going on then. Um, whereas now, it is Fabio Paratici. Uh, Romano said earlier today that Paratici wanted to bring Nuno Espirito Santo into Juventus uh, last year or the year before. Of course, that didn't happen. And now we tried to get him through to Spurs. There was a lot of doubt within the club when we announced or when they announced that Fabio Paratici will be taken over as managing director of football, that Daniel Levy will be able to renounce that pressure or renounce the the power within the club and to actually give Paratici the power over the um the power over those footballing decisions. There was doubt that would happen within the club, within the fan base, and I think in everyone except Daniel Levy and Fabio Paratici. However, that's uh, potentially now happening. Let's take a look at what uh Duncan Castles had to say uh, via the Spurs web, he claimed on the Transfer Window podcast that the information he has received is that while the 47-year-old is on Tottenham's list, he does not know whether he will actually get the job, with Castle suggesting that it could appear that there could be problems in getting the deal signed off by Daniel Levy. Levy gave Paratici the, the reins in this one. He said, you you find the manager for us, you appoint him, we'll work with that. And now it looks as though Daniel Levy may be turning down the candidate that Paratici has brought forward. Probably the similar thing to what happened with uh, Gennaro Gattuso, but for very, very different reasons. Um, it's it's uh, it's it's an absolute farce. It's a shambles, and it's getting worse and worse every day. And the only reason I'm sitting here actually surprised that this deal could fall through is the very fact that I just did not think it could get worse. I did not think Tottenham, in this pursuit of a manager, could become more of a laughing stock than we already have. Uh, Gennaro Gattuso said to Lorenzo Insigne in the last couple of days that Tottenham are a bit of a mess. Fabrizio Romano said he's never seen anything like this throughout his entire career in covering uh, managers. It's It just gets worse and worse, and I, I don't know how it's happening. Uh, that report from ESPN, they said that they actually started off by saying we were as close, we were so close to uh, Paolo Fonseca that we had nearly began drafting a contract, but of course that did not happen. ESPN also said Tottenham have not offered Nuno Espirito Santo their head coach role, but have held positive talks in recent days. Eric Ten Hag and Graham Potter remain under consideration. Uh, as as recently as yesterday, Dan Kilpatrick also mentioned the names of Steven Gerrard and Roberto Mancini as managers who are still uh, being held under consideration by Spurs as we look to um, as we look to, to fill this vacant role. Uh, Cody says that you're getting to 20k before we hire a manager. You'll be completely bald by then from the stress. Well, I, I, I just want a manager. <laughs> I really just want a manager. Uh, Killian Kenny, good to see you in the live chat as always. Um, Josh making a point there about the, the backroom staff. I don't think it's true that he wants 20, but this this could be a very real problem as Tottenham try and get this done. You know, every report that said, uh, you know, this deal is close to being done, this uh, close to agreeing a deal, there are still slight hiccups within the, the negotiations that still need to be, I think, ironed out is the phrase that would, was used. Um, backroom staff is the reason that Nuno Espirito Santo right now is not the manager of Everton. So he was very close to joining Everton. He was also close to joining Crystal Palace. But the reason he isn't in Merseyside is because of a disagreement with uh, backroom staff and he wanted to bring more to Goodison Park than they were willing to give him. Well, if that's the case, he's not going to be Tottenham manager. He he won't because Antonio Conte wanted seven. We were only offering him four. Uh, it looks very likely so the likes of Ryan Mason and Ledley King will be part of our backroom staff next season. Uh, Nuno Santo, if he doesn't want them, he's not going to be the manager of Spurs. And, and that is the that is the sad truth of it. Uh, Oliver says ESPN isn't a reliable source. Uh, it's it's certainly not. Uh, but when these stories start coming out, you do have to take notice. And Shauna Blaney. Uh, Shauna coming in with the £50 super chat. Shauna, thank you so much for that. 
Uh, your support of the Tottenham uh, community on YouTube is absolutely unrivaled. Uh, so thank you so much for that super chat. Says we won't be getting a manager at this rate. And I actually made a, a remark a few minutes ago saying uh, the only thing less likely than us getting Jules Kunde is us having a manager uh, before before your 2024. It's looking so unlikely that we'll get a manager in before preseason now with, with this latest news on, um, on Nuno Espirito Santa. But Shauna, honestly, I, I can never thank you enough. Thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, on the point of Duncan Castles, actually, I meant to touch on at the beginning of the stream. Uh, it was actually Jenk from Spurs Web, a good friend of the channel, who, who brought this to my attention, saying that Duncan Castles is not the most reliable journalist out there, but when it comes to George Mendes' uh, clients, well, he's right on the ball, which would suggest he does have an in uh, with George Mendes. He was the first from the news to uh, Jose Mourinho going to, to Roma, and also with the Euler Lapetegui links to Spurs. It was two weeks ago he actually reported that for the first time on the Transfer Window podcast. So I think Castles does have to be taken seriously when it is links with uh, George Mendes' clients. And he is saying Nuno Espirito Santo, as it stands, is unsure if he will be the next manager of Spurs. Uh, and again, ESPN saying uh, offer has not been made. Other targets are still under consideration. Echoing what Dan Patrick yesterday said about Graham Potter, Steven Gerrard and Roberto Mancini. And that just begs the question, when will this end? With who will this end? Will this end? I think being the biggest question, it, it, it has been the most bizarre, most incompetent, most just the biggest joke of a of a, a merry-go-round I have ever seen in any footballing side, not just Tottenham Hotspur, with any football club. Again, Fabrizio Romano himself said he's never seen anything like this in the in the teams and the manager situation that he's covered. Sixty seven days since we sacked Jose Mourinho. So many managers were so close to signing. Uh a deal was so close with Antonio Conte with Paolo Fonseca. Uh, talks with Catuso, with Pochettino, with uh, with Nuno Espirito Santo, with just so many. There's 50, 60, 70 different managers that we've been linked to in the press, and it just we we don't seem to be getting any closer to this happening. And again, I'm I'm not sure why I'm surprised that this this is where we currently are at the moment. Farhan and Adam, thank you very much for subscribing. I I just genuinely thought I could not. This just could not get any worse. When it happened with Fonseca, it happened with Catuso. I thought, okay, the next manager surely they'll have to get him in because they just can't do it again. It's, it's just not possible. And we're hearing these reports as well. They're not going to allow these uh, leaks to happen. They're not going to let anything into the press uh, until they're sure a deal is done. Yet time and time again, it's leaked to the press and the press know about it when Tottenham do not yet have that deal done. Now, whether that is Fabio Paratici and, and his entourage or uh, his links, his sources, whatever, it is very possible that he is behind those links because in, in Italy, that is the way things go. You can remember when Christian Eriksen went to Inter Milan that while he was having his medical, that was televised. That was promoted by Inter Milan themselves. Same happened with Romelu Lukaku. It's just the way things work over there. And Paratici is perhaps trying to... Um, it's just doing that very same thing here in, in England, which just isn't the way isn't the way Premier League clubs do that. Uh, Cody says, I've never seen anything like this in any professional sport. And look, it's just football for me, but I'll, I'll take your word for it, Cody. Uh, Jason Groves says, this is the most dysfunctional thing I have seen. Um, got a few comments here from some channel members. William Kelly says, Ryan Mason was always going to be our next manager. Hashtag make Levy accountable. There were reports um, yesterday, the day before, I think from the Daily Express, that Ryan Mason has been um, has been put on standby to take pre-season training when it starts at Hotspur Way. I think it's next Wednesday uh, that the, some of the players will be returning. I, I just... It, it's every day that passes, it's looking more and more likely that it will be Ryan Mason. And I saw a Twitter poll uh, over the last 24 or so hours from Lily White Rose where uh, a, a good few hundred Spurs fans voted and preferred... Ryan Mason as a potential manager to Nuno Espirito Santo. Uh, let, let's have a have a quick vote in the live uh, in the live chat. Do you want uh, Espirito Santo or do you want Ryan Mason? If you right now have the choice, would you take Mason or Santo? Uh, give me your thoughts in the live chat. And we'll see what the uh, what the feeling among the the Matt Hayes fan base is. Uh, Kev Williams says, "Can you please tell us all what you think the problem is to why we cannot seal a deal for a manager? It's a complete farce." I genuinely think what it is is Daniel Levy wanting the perfect candidate, but not being willing to pay that money or essentially thinking that we're better than we are or thinking that we're a good enough club to attract whatever manager we want. But it isn't, it's just not that case now. Two years ago, maybe when Pochettino left any time during the Pochettino um, tenure, we could have picked almost any manager in world football and we were an attractive place for him to go. We were an attractive destination for a manager. But right now we are a sinking ship. We are an absolute joke. We need to find a manager who, as much as this pains me to say, a manager who is at our level. And that, it, that's going to be very hard to find when you have someone like Daniel Levy who wants to be the most ambitious manager, or ambitious chairman in world football, but he's never willing 
to put the money up for that. And it's looking like an overwhelming win there for, for Nuno Espirito Santo. Uh, Cody says on that Twitter poll, there's over 6,000 votes, 57% for Ryan Mason. Uh, thanks for that, Cody. But uh, quite a few Santos. We have uh, Mohammed says Mason. Um, trying to find some more there. Uh, yeah, the majority of people there saying uh, Nuno Espirito Santo. I see four or five Ryan Masons, and they're all Mohammed Mirza. Uh, Kendai says it as well, but Nuno, the, the overwhelming uh, favourite in there. But, you know, then it will come back to the question if we had choice of any uh, any manager in the world right now or any realistic manager, I would say, uh, how many people would actually say Nuno Espirito Santo? And it's very possible that Fabio Paratici is the only man who'd say that. Uh, loves music with a £3 super chat. Thank you so much for that. Really do appreciate it. it says, hi, Matt, just logged on. Any thoughts on uh, Mancini? Um, Look, Mancini will be an incredible option for Spurs. I spoke about him a few days ago. Uh, Premier League experience has, of course, won the Premier League uh, in his first and only spell in the country. Doing an, an incredible job with um, with Italy right now. They're, of course, unbeaten in some like 30 games. They've won the last 10 uh, without conceding. Incredible form. Built, uh, put together an incredible uh, team there that's, that's doing really well. And could go on to win the Euros. But he just signed a long-term contract in May. And again, it's just not... Uh, a desirable destination for a manager of his caliber. So I would absolutely love him, but it's it's, it's just not going to happen. Uh, Brian Daigle and uh, the live chat says, Big up, Matt Hayes. About to go underground, but wanted to wish you and everyone a very happy weekend. Brian, you're an absolute legend. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you have a, a good day with, with Brian Ireland and good to see you in the live chat as well. And a very happy weekend to you too. Jonathan and Premier Lad, thank you very much for subscribing. Um, AK Gaming says, I just joined What Is Happening. Uh, what essentially is happening is Duncan Castles has reported in the last hour or so that Nuno Espirito Santo is unsure if he will be the next Spurs manager uh, as it doesn't seem likely that Daniel Levy will sign off on the deal and ESPN also reporting that uh, uh, Santo has not yet been offered the job and there are other candidates still under consideration. So uh, Duncan Castles not the most reliable journalist but one who, as pointed out by Jane from Spurs Web, knows his stuff when it comes to George Mendes' clients uh, and that is where... I kind of feel in this deal may not be as close as we as we thought. Paul Markey says, I still can't understand why we're not talking to Galtier. And look, anyone who watches this channel knows I'm a, I'm a massive fan of Christophe Galtier uh, and what he achieved at Lille over the last four or five years. He's, of course, left Lille following their league untitled victory last season. Uh, I do believe there is a £10 million compensation to be paid to Lille if Christophe Galtier gets another job this summer. Now, a number of teams are looking for him at, at the end of the season. It looked very likely that he would end up at Nice, also in France, who finished ninth in the league on last season. But no deal has been struck there. Uh, Galtier at the moment doesn't have a club for next season. And I heard, uh, God, must be over a month ago at this stage, back towards the beginning of this managerial hunt, that Spurs actually, um, Spurs actually did already talk to Christoph Galtier, uh, and you know things kind of petered out from there. But I would love Galtier. You know, I, I, there's so much on my channel you can go and and, and listen to if anyone who hasn't seen it already. Uh, he'd be a fantastic option for Spurs. Um, I, I would really like to see him there. Uh, Kev Williams says it's deflating being a Spurs fan right now. Look, that's the that's the, the be all and end all of it, isn't it? It's just it's difficult to be a Spurs fan now. I saw a comment there a second ago um, saying uh, you know someone's getting laughed at by their their friends and, and work colleagues. It was Kev Williams says uh, oh Kev as well saying um, I'm getting absolutely slated by my mates and work colleagues about Spurs' pathetic dealings in a new manager. It's so embarrassing, Matt. Um, and do you know what? It's actually at the point there where when I go into work. I'm, I'm not greeted with, hi, hi Matt, how are you? I'm greeted with either an are you okay or just the latest Spurs. It's like a win is like, oh, Gattuso to Tottenham is how I'm greeted. It's just, it's all people want to talk about now. And it's the one time when I don't want to talk about Spurs with fans of other clubs. But Kev, thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, I do appreciate it. Pete from the Lane, good to see you here. It says any transfer updates? Um, the latest one is from Demarzio and uh, Romano today that Spurs are targeting Jules Kunde. Uh, Demarzio said he's our number one um, our number one transfer target or centre back target for the summer. I, I I just can't see that happening. Um, I think there won't be any reliable sort of uh, transfer updates until a manager is in place. Uh, Aaron Dove coming in with a super chat, uh, with the twenty euro. Aaron, thank you so much for that. Uh, I really do appreciate it. You're an absolute hero. Just buy yourself a flat cap. But look, I'll have to I'll have to get one. So I'll I'll fit in next time I'm on uh, on David's channel. Uh, but Aaron, thank you very much for the super chat. I do appreciate it. Um, Anthony says, "What a joke! Never again. I'm done." And it, it is, again, somehow it continues to surprise. And I know look, there's a lot of people in the comments there um, and a lot of people that I know uh, in the in the YouTube fan base, in the YouTube uh, community that won't be particularly surprised about this one. But I just, I, I just don't know how they managed to do it, do it again. I really, really don't. And the, there's a lot of frustration on Twitter, as you would expect. Um, Marca actually now getting involved with the, the Jules Kunde story. They say Nuno Santo will target a move for um, Sevilla defender Jules Kunde if he becomes... 
the the next Spurs boss, and it's it's a big if at the moment. Uh, again, with these stories from uh, Duncan Castles this evening. Um, Kendai, Kendai uh, comes in with the, the super chat, the 35 uh, South African rand. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. Says, do you think Arsenal will finish above us next season? Ooh, with, with, with the way we're going, with the way this uh, manager hunt and transfer window is going, they, they very may will. And if, if I had to predict which team was more likely to finish uh, top of North London next season, it would probably be Arsenal. Potentially making the signing of Ben White, and we can we can laugh as much as we as we want about the um about the transfer fee of fifty million pounds, but it's a very good signing. He's a very good centre back who is going to be an incredible addition to their defence. But the big big thing is they have a manager going into in the preseason, and, and it sounds ridiculous, but we we're what four days away from from preseason, and we don't have a manager. We're almost we're over two weeks into the transfer window, and we don't have a manager. It's over two months since we've had a manager. It's it's. It's crazy, and Tottenham, uh, as it stands at the moment, if we get top half next season, uh, I really think we could be, uh, we'd be doing very well, and perhaps be very lucky uh, to to get in that state. But if I had to guess right now, would we finish above Arsenal? No, I think I think they have us uh, for next season, which is one of the the most painful things uh, I've ever had to say on this. Uh, Jack Lagrat said, Fabrizio Romano stated a new manager will be appointed this week. One day left. Look, Jack. Nobody appreciates and respects Fabrizio Romano more than I do, but we've heard so many reports about managers being appointed, and it, it's it's not the managers, it's not the, the journalists, it's not Gold, it's not Romano, it's not Demarzo, it is Tottenham and their incompetence that simply cannot get deals over the line. I fully believe that Romano has reliably heard we'll have a manager in place by the end of the week. I fully believe Alistair Gold initially had been reliably informed we would have a manager before the end of the season. I, I believe that back in at the end of May, Dan Kilpatrick was reliably informed we'd have a manager in seven to ten days, but it's just not happening because we our club just isn't good enough to get the deals done. Uh, Eric Cooper with the, the $20 super chat. Eric, you're, you've had uh, quite a few super chats in the last few weeks, so I, again, I want to thank you for that. It says, I feel for you, Matt. I feel for us all uh, right now at this moment. And look, I appreciate that. And I, I do feel for all 371 people who are watching the stream right now. Um, it's it's just painful. It's just tough to uh, to, to have to, to deal with because we know next season is going to be a farce. And, it was around maybe the February March stage of last season where we just wanted it to be over. We're in June and we already want next season to be over because we know it's just going to be a write off. It's going to be a shambles. It's going to be hopefully, hopefully a season where we can turn around our free fall. But I wouldn't be particularly surprised if it's a season where our, our free fall accelerates. Uh, Cody says I just saw someone on Twitter say they were uh, thirty nine thousand on the season ticket wait list and got offered one. Another guy said a four year old on the list was offered one. And that is, I suppose, one good thing that's coming out of this. Uh, there does seem to be quite a few people turning down offers for uh, their season tickets, which will definitely hit Daniel Levy in the pocket. Um, from from what I've heard, the board are confident that they will fill up the stadium and they will sell all of their season ticket, uh, season ticket allowances for next season. But the fact that so many people are turning them down and the people so far down the list are being offered them already, it does show there is a massive uh, protest and a huge number of people who are not taking up that option to get their season ticket which uh, Daniel Levy will certainly have to take notice of way more than a, than a hashtag no to Nuno. Uh, so definitely something to keep an eye on there and it'll be interesting to see how that one uh, develops. Uh, Bob's for TV in the live chat. <laughs> I think we know we know his, uh, his feeling and all this just says it's a joke. And Bobby, it, it, it is. It's a joke that it's getting less funny uh, with every every development that we get and every every time it progresses. It's, um, it's getting worse and worse. Uh, Aaron Dove says, get Maddie to 10,000 subs, hit the likes and as always, hashtag Enoch out. Hashtag NFL protest. Look, if you want to get me to uh, 10,000 subs, I certainly wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be opposed to that idea. We hit 9K yesterday. Um, and like I said, we're on the road to 10K before the season starts. Um, so please do hit that subscribe button for more updates on Tottenham's manager and for the Tottenham Hotspur Transfer Talk series coming back this summer and for another exclusive interview with Fabrizio Romano coming up in the next couple of weeks. Uh, you'll be first all that information here. So please do. Hit that subscribe button if you if you haven't already. Uh, Ken Dye with another 35 South African Rand says, why don't we go for Ginter at Gladbach? He's a class centre-back that starts for Germany and would only cost 20 million as he's entering his last year on contract. Matthias Ginter is definitely a very good option. I've been impressed with the, the way he's played for Germany at the Euro so far. I, I don't know if he's one that would be targeted by Spurs or if he's someone on Fabio Paratici's, uh, on his on his target list, but he's definitely a player that I would like to see uh, at the club. Shauna says, if I don't laugh, I will cry. And that's just it, isn't it? That's that's the way you feel at the moment. I'm just taking a quick look at Twitter to see if we have any more um any more updates because it seems so when one story comes out, it's immediately followed by another ninety nine, and 
it's just it's, it's kind of trying to keep on top of all these and 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 trying to dissect which are the most reliable stories is, is the toughest part but uh, that's what we try to do in this channel as best we can Killian, good to see you in the live chat as always uh tommy of says would you like valverde i'd take valverde over santo to be honest um and spurs reportedly contacted ernesto valverde last week to sound him out and see if he'd be interested in the job but nothing really came of it then because it looks as though Paratici turned his attention solely to Nuno Espirito Santo, or so we've been told over the last couple of days. Um, I take Valverde, did an incredible job at Bilbao, did did well at Barcelona, but maybe not in the way that the fans would have wanted. But I, I, I don't think we can really pick and choose how we get success if it is an option for us right now. If we have, I know it's, it sounds ridiculous to say after the last 18 months that we've had, but if we win an FA Cup park in the bus, I'd be absolutely delighted. Um, I think what this club need, needs right now is trophies more than anything. And I think Valverde potentially could be the man to deliver that. So I'd certainly take him. Um, Bobby, Bob's for TV says Ryan Mason in. Cody says we've had a manager 99% done the last three Fridays running back to square one on Monday. So I think Cody is predicting where, where this story might go. And well, would any of us really be surprised at this stage? Would any of us be... It, it's just it's almost expected it is almost expected um i i, I don't think and i'm gonna sound stupid saying this now but I, I don't think this one will fall apart i i do think the more i'm kind of thinking things through and i was thinking out loud here in the stream um i i do think Nuno Espirito santo will will get over the line because spurs just simply cannot afford to have another manager uh fall through as duncan castle said every time they try to hire someone and it falls through the pressure increases on levy as the man who is responsible for attempting to get the north londoners back on course to try to force their way into the champions league so as much as this may be falling through as much as there might be an element of uh doubt within you know Espirito santo and his camp or maybe even within spurs about this deal i think spurs just have to get it done again i would be i wouldn't be a fan of this appointment i'd give him my my 100 backing it's not the best one for spurs but it's 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 maybe the one that we uh will will end up with uh let me know your thoughts in the live chat let me know your thoughts in the comments down below uh we're on 99 likes with 400 people watching so please do hit that like button let's see if we can get to 125 before we end the stream uh, i just want to quickly thank joseph uh bradley jay zeke uh, and everyone else who has subscribed during the stream uh jonathan and premier lad as well thank you so much for your support uh, thank you for for subscribing to the channel if you do want access to exclusive content and exclusive member call-in shows which will be starting when we if we ever get a manager uh do hit that join button down below as well everything will be explained to you there starting which is one pound 99 per month let's hope we're back over the weekend with some better news i wouldn't be surprised if we're back over the weekend saying uh nuno isn't going to become the spurs uh but for now like subscribe and as always thanks for watching